Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So I've decided to do a little bit of nighttime filming. With that said, I have had a delivery, totally unexpected, nothing that I was expecting, obviously. And um, <coughs> I, I'm a little bit like, mm, they're different and um, it's hubby PR. What can I say? So obviously my husband has realised that I like a lot of footwear <laughs> and a lot of the footwear that um, probably don't last as long as they should do and I think recently I've bought shoes that have not lasted long and it's like when you think about the amount of shoes that have either snapped or the soles fell off or they've scuffed it easily or the paints come off when you think about how many pairs you can go through in a year you could just buy one decent pair of shoes that could last a lifetime. Now I know such brands as um, New Rocks and Dr Martins do have that kind of footwear and some Demonia shoes as well. Um, and I do want a pair of New Rocks and I have showed my husband what they are. And he's like, I understand you want them because they look aesthetically pleasing to the eye but also the fact that he's he thinks because everybody else has got them um for me it's i just like the actual look of the boot i don't care if everybody's got them that everybody's probably got these or probably not i don't know we'll see so my husband has bought me two pairs of footwear one is brand new one is second hand and to say that this one is second hand, I'm quite surprised because it's in very, very good condition. But then again, Dr. Martin's last a long time. So this is a Dr. Martin shoe review, guys. So we've got a boot review and we've got a sandal review. So I've been trying to find some sandals for the longest time. I own Demonia sandals. I own Melissa sandals. I own your, your typical truffle sandals. Um, I don't actually don't think i actually own anything like killstar sandals i just own like heel shoes and platform shoes but i'm forever looking at sandals and i do love demonia sandals as i've said um but my husband went ahead and just chose some random sandals for me in the hope that i would like them i will admit on first on um, my first look at them i was just like Mm-hmm, not sure. <laughs> and then I had the same kind of feeling with the boots. I'm like, mm, not too sure. But in all honesty, they've grown on me. I have worn them a couple of days here and there just to see what they feel like in the house. Obviously, I've not been out of the house. But I'm going to do the secondhand pair first. I'm going to get up the information that I have found on them because obviously there's no information that's come with them. I can tell you how much they were let me just um i've got so many people messaging let me just get up the information and then i can read them to you right so let me grab the boots first so they came in a box but i don't know what the postman was doing <laughs> the box was so badly bashed and battered that i just like threw it in the bin um, but they were they were well wrapped up, I will say that. So whoever's had these obviously doesn't really like them or I don't know. As you know, Dr. Martins take forever to break in. I do own two pairs of Dr. Martins already. I own some Vonda boots and I also Salomon, I think they are, shoes. Um, I would like to own another pair of boots in Dr. Martins. But I just think the whole process of breaking them in is a nightmare. So these ones, let me just grab one so you can see. These are these boots here, guys. Very, very shiny and very well loved. Guys, these are second hand, but they don't even look like they've been worn. So these are the Dr. Martin's um, Persephone Butterow Fashion Boots. That was a mouthful. So it's Persephone. I was calling it Persephone. <laughs> My husband said, no, Rachel, it's per Persephone. Okay, so these retail about £140 in UK sterling amount of money and $160 in American 
money. They're the Black Botero, and then I'm going to read you a little bit about them. Now, you can tell that they're not perfectly brand new, but they don't even look like they've been worn, guys. And if you look on the inside, they do not look worn at all. Do they look like they've been worn to you? I think these have possibly been bought and they've never worn them or they don't like them or for whatever reason and I sold them on. My husband bought them for £55. It's still a lot of money, but like you said, £180 for a pair of um, new rocks is still a lot of money as well. So let me just see what it says. So this is the Persephone, a six eye padded collar boot extra high and street cred some in the form of a chunky high heel okay padded collar and thick ridged air cushion sole inspired by heavy duty hiking boots yeah they have got quite a nice sole not as not as spongy as the others but they're still quite nice so it says they're made with a botero leather a soft full grain sup, subtle leather with a soft sheen Heel height is three and a half inches and a one inch platform. That is what it says about them. Um, I have tried them on guys. I've tried them on twice now. I did a try on already. So that will come at the end of this video. Uh, <laughs> very comfortable. I probably wouldn't recommend wearing just your bare feet in them guys. I found them a little bit too, too, like, too tight around here. I like to wear some socks in my kind of footwear, like boots and stuff. <laughs> but um, these are lovely. They were made in Vietnam. UK 7. Guys, there's not a bloody thing wrong with these shoes at all. Here is the little tag that says, Air Walkers Bouncing with Soles. That's just to tell you that the insoles are super, super soft. Very, very durable, very comfortable. As you can see, very good grips. They've got the detailed yellow stitching that goes all the way around, which is a Dr. Martin special trade. Like it's trademark is usually the tag that comes out and the yellow stitching along the boots and obviously the sole of them. Very, very well made. Guys, just take in. The, I mean, you know when you get certain boots and you see all the glue attached to the side and some of them just don't look well made? There's a reason why these are the price that they are, guys. I mean, perfect. Not a thing wrong with these, guys. And I will reach for these and wear these. I would probably call these more like my jean boots. So if I wore my jegging jeans, I would probably wear these with them. Um, I think these would be quite durable in the weather as well. <coughs> Possibly rain, snow, so forth. Um, they are absolutely amazing i love them i love the the three quilted cushioned anklet here that goes round your round the round your foot i mean the laces you could change the laces if you wanted to guys i mean it's only got a really thin insert for your laces which usually are made for this kind of lace um i don't know if you could change this style of lace i don't know if they do anything like that on ebay I know they do like the square laces that you can change like your know, converse and so forth up. But with these, I don't know if you can change the laces or if you even wanted to. I like them as they are, guys, to be honest with you. And they do pull in quite well. Um, obviously, I've had them on and I have took them off. There you go. So these, I would say, are complete hard-wearing shoes. They are solid even the grips are on the heel which is why i said these would be good in really bad weather do you know like ice icy weather i think you've got good grips on there i've actually gone out on the ice with my old new rocks not the ones i've got now but my old new rocks i went out on the ice with them and they were like skating boots <laughs> they were quite good actually but the grips are not as 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 good as they think but i think these would be really really good tread look at the tread the tread is brilliant on these proper proper secure boot i could wear these for probably two years and they probably still look the same but i walk quite quite awkwardly funny so most of my shoes get marked here but as you can see 
they don't actually reach each other so you're always just going to be touching the bottom bit rather than the actual boot which is good it makes them last a bit longer so that is the persephone boots guys the barreto barreto boots and um, there's a tiny little tiny tiny weeny weeny little scuff on them there not major to say these are second hand guys so that is them guys that was my first pair second hand boots sometimes my husband will buy me second hand expensive boots like new rocks or demonia or doc martins now the other ones are brand new now these are sandals guys i didn't even know dr martins did a sandal at all now i have picked up some information on this one as well although it does tell me a little bit on the side of these so obviously these are brand new so these come in um in a bigger box than this and um, they both come at separate times guys these came first then they came the day after and i was like what can't believe i had two pairs of dr martins in the space of two days so these ones are the granic cherry red and they are the arcadia arcadia uk7 sandals and they're in cherry red guys so i've seen a few dr martins in the color cherry red they're not like what you'd class as being red red they're they're like a what i'd call like a walnut brown with a hint of red in it that's what i thought they were when i first seen these i thought oh, they look like the shoes my granddad bought me when i was younger and i was crying going what are them <laughs> No, I appreciate the type of shoes. When I was a kid, I used to hate it when my granddad used to buy me platform shoes. I used to be like, what the hell are them? I ain't walking about in them. If my mum watches this, she'll be laughing her head off. I actually mourned to my granddad because he bought me some shoes very similar to these as a kid. Very, very, very big um, heel on them and platform. And I said to my granddad, I ain't going to wear them. I ain't been seen dead in them and he said well, well what do you want me to do about it i said well i want some sh i don't want some shoes granddad not platform shoes right that same day my granddad got his saw out and he he was so like i wasn't an ungrateful child but duffel coats and platform shoes just didn't sit well dark charcoal gray duffel coat i used to hate it i hated it and then my granddad actually got the saw and he sawed, he sawed the platform shoes down to the point where they were a normal. And I thought, oh, well, I like them now. And I started wearing them out. And I came in within, within 10 minutes and I was crying. And my granddad was like, what's wrong with you now? And I went, there's old pebbles stuck in the shoe. And as you turned the shoe, there was four holes where he'd saw on the heel. And I was you can imagine can't you so my granddad was like yeah well now you've got clickety clockety shoes <sighs> so yeah these shoes actually brought a little little memory back just a little memory back so i'll let you take a look at them guys i've already done a try on i absolutely love them they are so comfortable so they came with all the tissue paper on that says dr martin's they were well packaged up guys that they, they had like foot inserts in there as well I took all the foot inserts out obviously because I've had them on and I've actually loosened them up at the front. So this is what they look like guys. This is the granite, let me get it right, granite cherry red and it's the Arcadia, 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 that's it, not Arcadia, Arcadia, UK7. Right, what do I know about these shoes? Let's see what it says about them because they're still available on Amazon. I think my husband got these on eBay. He paid a price of 83, I think it was. Let me just see. My God. 83 pound 33, tax 16 pound 67. So it was a total order of 100 pound. 100 pound. I actually said to him, why? You didn't need to pay that for shoes. And he just, he just says, these were last year, so you don't have to keep buying them cheap sandals that don't last two minutes. It says, you know, you've got humpteens of sandals everywhere and all of them have either the, the strap has snapped or the heel's gone or the soles come off. And yeah, it's got a point. 
I know I want to be fashionable. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be sensible when you've got such things as chronic back issues like I have and the fact that eventually I am going to be really lopsided because I've got scoliosis. It's starting to show now as I've got older um, and I've got chondromalacia in my right knee. So comfort is key, even though sometimes I don't think about comfort and I just go for what they look like because I collect shoes. But these are sensible sandal shoes. So let me see what it says. So they're 107 to a 256 pound on Amazon. That's bloody crazy. So it says about this item, let's see what it says. So it says cement construction for added flexibility and durability, soft leather lining for a comfortable interior fit and feel, lightly cushioned leather and textile insole for all day comfort. Boy, are they right on that one. Double high platform designed for added height and stability Air cushioned outsole is slip, oil, fat and abrasion resistant. That's good to know. So it's anti-slip basically, which is great for me. Um, and it says sole fitches, tough commando tread for excellent traction. Imported measurements, heel height is four in weight, one pound seven ounces platform height, one in product measurements. Uh, take command of your style this season with a standout eye-catching look or Dr. Martin. I don't think these are that old. I think they came out maybe seven months ago. So it says outer material is leather, sole is synthetic, closure, buckle, heat height, high, phew, uh, <laughs> heel height, four inches, heel type, block heel, shoe width, medium women's. They are they're good with i've got wide foot so they are good for wide foot but you can change that as well guys with the with the little thing at the top and it says arcadia leather or smooth leather upper this is what the arcadia is it's the actual leather um and it says features classic docks dna including grooved heel visible yellow stitching i will admit it's it's there and it's got the little the little hoop as well, scripted heel hoop, adjustable metal buckle fastening at the ankle and at the front. So there's a lot of description with these shoes, guys. So it says, take command of your style this season with this standout eye-catching look for the Dr. Martins granite sandal. Arcadia leather or smooth leather upper features classic docks DNA, including grooved heels, visible yellow stitching and scripted heel hoop. Adjustable metal buckle fastening at ankle, cement construction for added flexibility and durability. Soft leather lining for a comfortable interior fit and feel, lightly cushioned leather and textile insole for all day comfort. I will tell you how these feel in a minute because I've had them on. It says air cushioned outsole is slip oil, which I've already said. So it's pretty much saying what I've already just said to you guys. Um, on eBay, you can get these for £88 or you can go on Amazon and pay a little bit more. I would like to spend the least amount on shoes if possible. So the fact that these were the price that my husband got is really good price. So guys, as you can see here, let me just check. So they fasten here. and You can kind of see the red cherry look in them if you look closely they you can see the red tinges of cherry red through it and then this bit here guys is so easy if you've got a small foot you can adjust them guys let me just show you can you see you can adjust them so they fit your smaller foot or if you're wide footed like me you would probably go on the last one <laughs> Oh, it's the second one, I think it was. Yeah, second one. In. There you go. Not to everybody's taste. I've seen people in China wearing these on the images with ankle socks. You could do if you wanted to. I've got black, like, fishnet ankle socks that I could wear with these. And I've got some that I got from Killstar that I think would look really cute. The insole is super, super durable, super soft, guys. You know how you wear sketchy shoes 
and they have that really soft insert like memory foam this is very much like that but it's got like a leather insole as well it's just amazing your feet don't sweat in them guys they're not sticky and then they've got like this nice soft feeling at the toe that makes it just really comfortable i can't explain it and they kind of they kind of work with you they bend with you they're so comfy normally you know with dr martins you'd have to break them in these are automatically broken in for you they are super super comfortable guys i cannot say anything more they've got what they call the bouncing sole which is very much like sketches they do have that bounce the um other ones as well have a slight bounce not as good as these ones but they do have that insert the insole exactly like this this one's a little bit more luxurious i have to say all right guys make sure you stay to the end go and watch the try on see what you think and um, if you're interested in these i will pop the link down below i will also pop the link for the other ones as well even though they were second hand they are still available to buy if you're interested or if you're like me you love dr martin shoes or anything that's hard wearing there you go there's the information on the side as well guys okay guys thank you for watching make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to see when i upload which is usually tuesdays fridays and sundays um i know not a lot of people um have stuck around on my channel some have disappeared i can't do anything anything more than what i'm doing guys but if you've got any like requests you want to give me i will get them down in a book and as soon as i've caught up on my videos i will get them done for you thank you to all the new subscribers uh, welcome aboard and if you've got any suggestions feel free to add them onto any comments down below if you're not happy with any of my videos and you want to put a thumbs down that is completely fine it's all part of the um youtube just make sure you stick a little comment down below what it is you don't like it could be anything that's um benefit to me to change all right guys take care of yourself look after yourself stay safe and um i'll see you <laughs> on my next shoe review whenever that may be bye for now Okay guys, these are the size 7 Dr. Martins Arcadia's sandal shoes. Oh my god, these are mega comfortable guys. They really are comfy. You can tighten the front buckle. Mine are a little bit loose, but I do need to tighten them. But like my husband said, break them in first and then tighten them as you break them in. Um, they're very comfortable. I can't really say anything else apart from... These are definitely worth the money. And as you can see, they are good grit shoes. I know they're sandals, but you could probably wear these like in the winter months, preferably not on a like a wet day, but on a like a casually sunny day, which is not amazingly warm. You could still wear these. You could wear your um ankle socks with these. I'd probably wear my um Killstar ankle socks, look quite cute with these. All right, guys, let's go and do a catwalk. so these are the dr martin boots not really um i'm really not sure of like the full price of these but they are super comfortable not as comfortable as the shoe the sandals i will add but they are still comfortable and 
I think these would look really, really nice with a nice pair of jeans. They remind me of like just casual jean boots. But again, hard wearing because these are Dr. Martins. You've got your air walker at the back here. So let's just do a little bit of a, a catwalk, guys. <laughs>